going on YouTube, Gios right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to use IBC VPN in order to protect yourself online from exposing your IP address and stuff like that to various websites and advertisers and advertising systems and stuff like that, but also how to unblock content that normally is region locked. So we're going to use IBC VPN for that, the link will be in the description down below. IBC VPN basically is available for most of anything you can think of, like Windows, Mac OS, Android, for your Linux computer, for Kodi, for Raspberry Pi, for Chrome, Firefox, it's available for a lot of things. Now why would you use a VPN to begin with? Well, at first for privacy and protection in general on your digital presence. Well sure, yes, most of the websites nowadays do have the little padlock in there which means all the personal data is transferred via HTTPS or SSL which does add a layer of protection. But that doesn't mean the websites won't know where you're coming from. The websites can see your IP address and by that tell what carrier you have, so who gives you internet internet access, your provider, and also your general location, down to even the city or down to even the street sometimes. So they still can get accurate location information on you and they can even track what you do online because your IP address is collected by multiple services and those services like Google Analytics and stuff like that can tell what other websites have you visited from the same IP. And some people don't want that and a VPN is a pretty good solution for that. But then there is also the accessing foreign content globally with a VPN. For example, if you want to watch Netflix or Amazon Prime or Hulu and stuff like that and it's not available in your country. Now keep in mind, this will not make those services free. You will still have to pay for those services, but you have the option to pay for them, which normally you wouldn't in some countries. So that's actually quite great. For pricing, I would definitely recommend the 5 year plan for IBC VPN because this one has a limited time offer, which also has a very good value at the moment, only $1 per month if you buy the 5 year plan, which saves you about $537. So you you would pay about $60 up front, which is much better than the one month plan, which is essentially almost $10. So yeah, the five year plan is the best at the moment for IVC VPN because they have the Black Friday VPN deal with 90% off. It still has a couple of hours left, so if you want it, definitely run. Now let's see the VPN in action. Do keep in mind that many services detect VPNs, so a good VPN is one that is not exactly very easy to detect. So for example, this one has the Smart Connect. I can go with Automatic, pressing here, and in a couple of seconds I'm somewhere in Germany now. Another important thing with VPNs since you install them for protection is to have a strictly no logs policy on the VPN and to make sure that they do enforce that no logs policy because if they log what you do online you're just moving the problem from your ISP or internet provider to the VPN provider. This one as you can see says no logs in here and I did check out their privacy policy and they do state no logs. It's also encrypted which means they don't know what you do online. They don't care what you're visiting. And as you can see, it's that easy. Now I'm connected and my IP is a German IP. Now you may not want to go with automatic, which gives you the fastest and easiest to access uh, VPN country. Maybe you want something particular. For example, I would want to go to Canada. So I'm going to select the Canadian VPN over here and it's going to be by country, but you can go by city as well. So you have Toronto, Vancouver, Quebec and stuff like that. So I'm going to go with Vancouver and press the button. And in a couple of seconds, I am now connected to Canada in Vancouver. Again, no logs, encryption enabled, and hidden IP address. It's important to have the hidden IP address because a VPN basically gives you a disposable IP. So the website that you visit will see the VPN IP, but next time you do this, the IP no longer means anything. So I can choose another country, for example, Albania over here. And now I am somebody else. I'm visiting from a completely different location. So the previous IP means nothing. But when you don't have a VPN, your static IP address or the IP address given to you by your internet provider is the one that follows you everywhere on the internet. So every website you visit will see it. That's just how the internet works. So that's it for the Smart Connect. They also have the secure download and streaming over here. So if you go with streaming, for example, you want to watch HBO Max or Hulu or Netflix and so on, you press on the desired service and it connects to a VPN that basically allows you to watch that. And yeah, as you can see, I can now access Netflix US even though I am in Europe. So I would be able to sign in and stuff like that. You can see over here, login. I don't have an account here. But yeah, as you can see, it's the English version of the website, the US version of it. So I can pay for it and watch it with no problem. While previously I couldn't. Same thing for Hulu and for ABC and Prime and Fox and NBC. Some of these services, for example, NBC and Fox are only available in the US. They are US specific. So if you want to still be able to pay for them and watch them, you will need a VPN. And yeah, as you can see, I am able to now see the entire US catalog over here with what's currently 
going on and whatever. So yes, it works fine. Now the unblocking section in here is actually important. Some countries have very weird rules and very weird blockings on various websites. For example, they block YouTube or Twitter or Facebook or whatever. There is no real reason behind this other than just blocking them because they want to or because they can. But if you want to be able to access those websites that are weirdly blocked by your ISP or your country or whatever, the VPN would help as well. Just select a country where it's not blocked. For example, I'm going to go with United Kingdom and that's it. Your computer will believe you are in United Kingdom and you will be able to access any website that is normally blocked in your country. So yeah, definitely check it out. Their Black Friday deal is 90% off for the five year plan, which is available for both your mobile phones and your computer, laptop and so on. So definitely check it out. They have multiple payment options that you can choose from and you also have security add-ons like dedicated IP and port forwarding. Thank you for watching. I am Geo Snow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and check out IVC VPN in the links below. Peace out.